Bro, before we start talking about One Piece fighting path, right? I have to say this. One Piece episode 1000 was a 10 out of 10 episode. That episode had a man crying. That episode was done great in my opinion. Everything about that episode from the beginning to the end was wonderful. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about it, so I don't spoil it for anybody. But if you haven't watched yet, you definitely got to watch that episode. That episode will definitely have you crying. I really want to say what I liked about episode 1000, but I won't because, as I said, it's spoiler territories and I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. That episode is definitely one of my favorite episodes in One Piece, bro. Oh, wait, I can talk about this. Bro, One Piece, the movie Red, is going to be fire, bro. If you haven't seen the, like, the teaser trailer, bro, I will put the link down below. Watch this trailer, bro. This movie is going to be fire. Like, oh, my God. Bro. We're going to see Shinx again. I am so excited for this movie. We One Piece fans were eating good on Saturday. So much things relating One Piece came out Saturday. It was great. Also, there's another thing too. Um, yesterday, I think it was in the morning, um, Bandai, you know, kind of dropped, you know, like a One Piece fighting path. Um, a thousand, I think it was like a thousand episode celebration. And when I first saw that, I thought, you know, I thought they were going to, you know, announce like you know new dlc character for fighting for not fighting path for one piece power wars 4 you know to celebrate the anime for reaching episode a thousand right but they didn't that whole um video was about them going down memory lane about power wars 1 2 and 3 and 4 not gonna lie the shit was cool it was a good video but i really thought we were gonna get like a new dlc <laughs> character through that video but we didn't <clears throat> so, so yeah let me stop talking about the one piece anime and stuff and the movies and stuff let me stop talking about that and let me just talk about fighting path because that's what we're all here for so today we have some patch don't want to say patch notes but yeah some uh, mm, patch notes we call it fuck it patch notes we got some patch notes about what's going to come this week so we got official news from the one piece fighting path team themselves letting us know who's going to be the next ss character and the next s character as well let me introduce the brand new ss character that we are getting after garb and we don't have like a clear image but we only have this teaser image because of the one piece fighting path team that tweeted this out they posted this and for those of you that don't know who this is this character is magellan magellan is going to be the next ss character he is going to come out after garb he will most likely come out, I think, when was it? I think it's this Thursday, right? Yeah, it's this Thursday, yeah, it's this Thursday. So yeah, Magellan is the SS character that, that we're getting. And the S character that we are getting is someone who I did not expect for them to do like this. And it broke my ankles when I saw him. And the S character that is coming into One Piece Fighting Path is Captain Kid. And yes, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. He is going to be an S character. Not an SS character, but an S character. And not just that. He is also a Battle Pass character. The only way to get Captain Kid, you have to buy the Battle Pass. So when I first saw this, it broke my ankles because I did not think they were going to do this. I didn't think they were going to make Captain Kid a Season Pass character. Like, what? I mean, Season Pass, Battle Pass character, I mean. I have a question. Who decided to make Captain Kid an S character and not an SS character? Like, why in my opinion if i'm gonna be honest i don't like it that's just me i'm pretty sure others like it like this i really wish he wasn't a season pass character i really wish he was a banner character instead but it is what it is but yeah let me continue we also have their typings magellan is going to be a green type captain kid is going to be a red type and i'll say it again he is a season pass character and yeah the second thing we have is this is the system update the captain's level of the training system has been increased to level 100. So right now in fighting path, the max level you can get to is level 80, I think so, right? Yeah, level 80. Now they're increasing it to 100, finally. I'm not gonna lie, finally. And the next one we have is Resident Gameplay Island Adventure is added to the 56th island. Don't know what any of this means, but cool then. And the next one we have is a brand new chapter coming into One Piece fighting path. Chapter 30, Tragedy Under the Mask opens and the Straw Hats meet the flying fish knight after the update the captives can complete the new main task and enter the waters of the chamborian island to explore the surrounding areas of the flying fish knights okay and the last one we have is the new competitive gameplay hot-blooded battle i think this is a pve thing i think so and yeah that's pretty much like everything we have in the patch notes 
Shout out to Senpai for translating it. So thank you to him for, you know, translating the patch notes and everything. I appreciate you. I just realized this. It's crazy that we haven't seen a single gameplay of Magellan yet. Like, I'm surprised there's no leaked gameplay of Magellan or anything like that out there yet. Or Captain Kid either. Like, I'm surprised he didn't get leaked gameplay either as well. It's actually crazy. But yeah, I most likely will summon for Magellan. Most likely I will. When he comes out, I will summon for him. So expect a summoning video about Magellan coming soon. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I already said everything I have to say. In my opinion, I'm not a big fan of how they did Captain Kid behind a season pass thing. But yeah, it is what it is. It's whatever now. But yeah. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about everything you guys saw today. Are you guys happy with the with the new SS character that we're getting? Are you guys happy with, you know, Captain Kid being an S character plus being a season pass character? And all that let me know and yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one peace enjoy the rest of your day and yeah